is about a lady whose son is suffering from a viral infection and is visiting a doctor for the second time and demands for antibiotics because she thinks antibiotics is the only way out uh, and um, that's the reason that she is demanding antibiotics from a doctor and we will see across how the doctor tries to uh, overcome this scenario or uh, this problem and tries to convince the lady about the rational use of antibiotics. How is your son today? Well, doctor, he's not fine. Uh, his fever is still the same and his nose is running. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have been giving, giving him the medicines um, for the last four days. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there is any improvement in his condition. Oh, uh, so let me check him. Condition is okay. Uh, what I feel is you just need to continue on with the same medications for cold and fever as what I have described earlier. I will order the pharmacist to just uh, refill the same medications for you for the next four days and that should take care of the condition. But doctor, how can you give him the same medicines when they are not being effective? In fact, he has stopped playing and he is not <coughs> eating properly uh, mm -hmm. since he has fallen sick. Uh, a friend of mine suggested that he may need antibiotics. Uh, I mean, antibiotics are basically for uh, bacterial infections. My clinical experience suggests that the person is suffering from, uh, you know, viral infection. So your son doesn't require antibiotics at this point because it's not going to change the natural course of viral infection. We need to wait and watch and be calm and he will get well soon. Doctor, but I'm really worried because I just want my son to get um, well soon. I can understand what you are going through, uh, but uh, the thing is, uh, you know, uh, scientific evidence tells us that uh, antibiotics uh, at this point and child may develop some kind of side effects related to the antibiotics being used. At the same time, uh, the child may also, be, you know, there is a chance of developing resistance for antibiotics in the future, which I don't want to happen because the child doesn't require antibiotics at this point. So just be calm, and things will be all right. But what's the meaning of resistance? Uh, uh, it, it's 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 like you know we give antibiotics. Uh, basically, they're not required now. But if I give antibiotics at this point, maybe you know the organisms develops uh, some mechanisms by which they can fight against antibiotics and can still survive in their presence so the next time if the child requires antibiotics maybe the antibiotics are just not effective it, it's a complex medical scenario oh i see uh, i just want to assure you that you know just be calm uh, just try to hydrate the patient well uh, by giving lots of you know, water and so on. Just try to give the prescribed medications on time, uh, rest for the child, um, and some gargles, and some steam inhalation, and that's all. I mean, that should take care of uh, the symptoms he is suffering from, and in the next three to four days, everything should be fine. Mm -hmm. Doctor, one more thing. Uh, I have uh, also read on the internet that antibiotics are given for such conditions. I do understand you just told me about <laughs> I, I do understand your concern about the websites, uh, but uh, not all information on websites is reliable. And this is medicine, so it keeps on changing from person to person. What applies to your son may not apply to somebody else and vice versa. So just be calm and uh, just, just try to go through the thing uh, and it, it will be fine in the days to come. Um, but in case he doesn't get well, um, can I bring him back to you? Ah, uh, yes, why not? Uh, my prescription has my address and my number. So you can dial that thing uh, and you can bring him up if you feel that things are getting worse. Uh, just bring him anytime and then we will do whatever is required. Uh, thank you, Doctor. My attention is really, really uh, and it was um, great seeking advice from you about antibiotics. I hope, uh, you know, things will go up the way it should be. And your son will be fine in the days to come. And uh, hope for a speedy recovery. Thank you. What's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed this clip of rational use of antibiotics. Um, and there will be many more clinical scenarios uh, coming across on my YouTube channel in the days to come.
uh, what you need to know is that um, uh, we need to use antibiotics nationally. It is not that we can only treat infections by giving antibiotics. No, it cannot happen that way. We should be sure on uh, the use of antibiotics, uh, which one to use and when to use and how much to give, the duration and so on because the problem of resistance is very high and we don't want to end up with all the antibiotics available in the medical world uh, by um, developing you know kind of a resistance by prescribing them irrationally uh, and so on so just try to uh, rationally use them uh, i hope you enjoyed this session